One, two, three, four, five. Right over there, and there's a good one coming out of the two, three, four coming out over there. We're gonna have a little mess. What? You ready to go find some morels? Yeah. We just had a lot of rain. Yeah. We've had some good temps. The people south of us have been finding morels. And uh, yeah, they should be up. It's muddy though. It has been raining. We had tornadoes coming through our county about, I don't know, probably four days ago. But it got in the 80s two days ago. And there's a little cool front, not a cold front, but a cool front moving in tonight. But uh, I think they're going to be out. So let's go get them. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Uh, I think I'm going to need to... Uh, Get in the old rubber boots because it is a mucky mess. And I, in last year, if you haven't, if you guys didn't catch our video from last year, um, sorry, I'm trying to protect where we're at. I don't want people coming in on my morel spot. But uh, last year, we found a lot uh, growing out of the sides of little feeder creeks. So you should try that if you're having trouble finding morels where they're supposed to be or where they're typically found. Onward, let's keep going. All right, guys, right here. In this little feeder creek is where we found a lot of morels and as a matter of fact i just went live and i just looked up and i see two growing out of the bank i was just about to talk to you guys about how last year these morels were growing straight out and some of them were even drooping over straight out of this bank now i walk creeks for a lot of stuff it's probably why i ended up finding morels down through here but amanda's over there with the dslr this creek's pretty high and i think it's going to be higher than my boots but uh we'll get some footage of the ones that we're able to but uh i'm not sure if you can see it on this gopro or not but there's that root right there there's a morel right there above my finger i'll try to zoom in right now but i'm not sure if it's going to show up for you or not all right let's keep going all right let's see if it's See if I can get over here. I think I'm gonna be able to get over here. All right, guys. Right there's the root I was telling you about. Tell me when you see it. Yeah. Do you see it? Do you see it? There it is, right there. And check this out. Right here, there's two more. I thought it was just one. Now I see two. No, there's three. There's one right there. There's one right there. Oh, and there's two right there. And there's another one right there. There's like five right here. Who gets happy when they start finding morels in clusters? This guy. I get extremely happy. I thought I wasn't I wasn't sure if this spot was going to keep producing because um, every time we find a morel patch people come in and just mess the habitat up that's happened to three patches in a row but uh but yeah check you got one up top there good one two three four five any hiding up in that up under there hmm in case you guys are wondering, hold on. In case you guys are wondering, there's a bunch of ash trees around here. Some of them aren't here anymore because they were dead and they, they pushed them over. But the roots are still in the ground. And there's a bunch of privet here. And y'all know how I feel about privet. Again, I apologize for the camera angle, but I have to preserve this. There, there are things around here that will are dead giveaways for people. And they will find where I'm at and they will come and get the morels before i'm able to so all right let's keep going let's go find some more guys this patch is really going to produce this year um we have one right there here's a new one here's a new one there's a new one and i just the further i look down the more i'm seeing um, here's one that's just starting to come up right there under that stick There's one right up there in that little clump of grass A 
there's one. There's no telling what's hiding under the leaf litter. There's another one coming up. There's another one. I mean, they're all down through here. And look, check this out. There's one actually laid over. The floods probably broke it. Look, look right there. Yep, it's all dirty. One, two. I saw another one too. Look where the floods have washed some of these. Just broke them. Broke them there. Broke them there. Broke them there. Now I would be worried that those had been picked, but there's a dead giveaway. And the first one that I spotted earlier was laying on this sandbar too, so. Is that growing up out of there? Oh, see, they're, they're just washing out. There's two morels right there. They're, they're, they're dirty though, real dirty. And I don't like eating sand, so. I know some people might get on me for not picking those up, but I'll, I'll leave them and let them uh, pollinate with their spores. So let's keep walking this sandbar. All right, guys, this is a pretty good sign right here. I've never found morels this far down this creek, but uh, let me turn you around and show you what I'm looking at here. We got a little baby. Sorry, my, my hands are dirty because I just got out of softball practice with my daughter and the glove stains my hands. So, um, got a little one right here. And we got a little one right there. So I'm gonna keep, uh, something that you don't wanna do is you don't want to just assume that the morels, it, see we got ash trees over there. We don't have ash trees over there, but we do have privet and I've been theorizing for the past five years that there is a symbiotic relationship between morels and privet. Because I find morels around privet more than I find them around all the other species of trees that all the field guides tell you to look around. And God, there's a big one coming out of the bank up there, but I can't get to it. It's right up that bank. To my knowledge, none of my field guides say anything about privet. Could be wrong let me know if, if you have a field guy that mentions privet but uh i'm gonna keep easing down this bank as long as it doesn't get too deep and uh i'll turn it on if we find some more but from here on there's no ash trees so th that that gets me excited let's keep going day two and i'm about to go a full nerd on y'all All right, let's go. <coughs> All right, so have you ever wondered if whether or not uh, cold fronts, cool snaps affect morel growth? Well, we're gonna head over here and check these out. We had what, 31 degree temperatures this morning? We had a frost on the cars and the first part of this video um, was pre-frost and they were doing very, very well. And it has been very, very windy, which is also not good because it will dry them out real quick. So, Brian has been with us <laughs> to check this patch in the past, but first time this year, eh? Yep. Joe said it's too cold. <laughs> she didn't want to come. I don't know, that's what I always wondered about when I first started hunting morels is, is this cold snap going to hurt them? Is, is one frost going to hurt them? And we're about to find out, so. We're to find out how many seatbelts. All right, we're down here on the creek, and uh, here's the first morel I spotted. Um, I don't know what happened to this guy. He severed there and there. He doesn't feel that dried out, though, if, if at all, so. Here's another one that's just coming up. He's not dried out at all. So, the wind's whipping it though. And Brandon said it's 50. I think it's closer to 40. Little wind chill, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. See what, uh, see what the rest look like. That right there, if you can see, that's uh, 
a zero turn lawnmower track and we probably have four or five morels that are no more so that's just part of it if you don't own the land you can't really control the land so let's go see what is remaining all right we're gonna cross the creek right quick across the creek and again public property <sighs> forgive me for uh, for the boring camera angles but I, I have found morels on this bank right here many many times but I haven't seen any since that tree right there fell over so it's a lot bigger than it looks in this lens but we're not here to necessarily harvest morels we're here to talk about what cold fronts do to them. that's what we're going to talk about today so let me get over here to where i know where i know morels were growing and we'll get back to y'all so instead of trying to hide it from our fellow nature lovers, we uh, we thought about it for about 18 hours and we were like, hey, that spot you saw us yesterday, that's one of our patches. Let's come together. Let's let these things mature and uh, we'll pick them. And uh, Mother Nature just didn't agree on the day when our schedules would align. And uh, I mean, it's not in vain because these things are going to continue to produce spores and they're going to repopulate but um yeah hopefully warm weather will come in and we'll have a second flush this 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 spot right here has flushed three times in the past so i'm optimistic let's see what else we got you got one over here there was four of them. how did they not how did they survive the lawnmower well one of that one didn't and that one didn't but yeah that, that one did. definitely didn't that one did. They didn't come up by that rock. That's why. That rock and right then there. This one over here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Right Does that make too. you sad? Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Society. Society. All right. Let me go check on mine. The first one that I spotted of the year. Yeah, it's gotten a little bigger. Not as big as I had hoped. But uh, we told them we wouldn't come back and pick them without them if they wouldn't come back and pick them without us. And I'm a man of my word. I'm not going to pick anything today. I'm interested to see how many made it down there on the creek bank because that's where we usually find our biggest and bests, um, mainly because they survived the lawnmower. So... We'll stick around for the third of this video. It'll probably be the last of this video. That'll be morel video number one of the year. And I should have a second morel video out after that because once this cold front gets out of here, things will get back to normal for about a week and a half and we should, we should be able to pick some more. The wind is howling. We're walking out and uh, Brennan just spotted that one. Look at that thing. Yeah, look at that. Probably something from the wind. We'll let it repopulate in this drainage ditch, I reckon. The spores will keep coming out. Morels just know when everything is at its most chaotic. The springtime. The springtime. Everything's in flux. <laughs> they pop their heads up. And and the the fruits aren't even what's necessarily alive is some mycelium they just pop their fruits up just to play with you and now they let them die and then they're not where they're supposed to be and then they show up somewhere where they're definitely not supposed to be but i do know where they are and they're in that ditch right there we're going to pick them tomorrow 
The wind can't get to him down there. He'll be here tomorrow, right? Yep. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed those camera angles. Uh, stick around for the next section because it'll be better lighting. All right, well, we came yesterday. I was trying to show you guys what the cold front did, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get this one out. It's dried out, but we'll be able to put it in some soup. Spider on it. So, feels good. First one of the year. Put it in there. <laughs> Do what? We were talking about that the last time. Yeah. All right. Onward. Okay, because I was like, that's All what right. I took the picture of. Number two. I was like, oh, no. Put it in the bag. And then we're gonna we're gonna have to venture across the creek and then walk the creek because I'm ho I'm optimistic about walking the creek. All right. There's one right here coming out of the bank. Really? Yeah. Huh. Good eyes. Get it right at the base. Slugs have found this one. It'll eat though. Oh yeah. We're gonna go ahead and grab these because they're starting to dry out a little bit. They start turning orange on the tips. And uh, usually you can you can go ahead and get them and then you'll get another flush. I'm hoping, there's some warm weather coming, so. All right, Britton spotted two right here. Here you go. Right at the edge of the, is that one right there? Yeah, there's like three right more. Heck yeah. Here you go. Silas, you want to get Where's another one? I want to touch another one. Alright, Joe is on the board. Bigfoot. Willow, watch out where you're going. Put her in the bag. Alright, Brandon is going for a good sized one. Or at least it looks like a good sized one. Uh, it wasn't as good as I thought, but... I, got, I can't film you really because of the background. There's more, another one growing underneath it. Really? Oh, this is slick. How big is it, Daddy? All right. Steven said he's got a handful over here, so I'm trying to work my way to him. It's like really cold, and I got uh, water in my boots. Not comfy. Oh, yeah. Those have beefed up a little bit since the last time. Yeah, right there, two there, one here. Oh yeah, that's from the flood. They probably washed those caps right away. Right there. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Yeah, we got one. Right here we got one, two, three, four, Five, right over there and there's a good one coming out of the two three four coming out over there we're gonna have a little mess all right i'm we're gonna get to picking these right quick while we got them in our sights and we'll keep going that's a strange looking rail There's a stem that's missing the cap right there. Man, they like to roll. Ah, uh, that one's probably water. What do you think? I'd eat it. All right. I'm not too picky, but yeah. there's one right up there. Got one right here. Two here. be a better haul than I was expecting honestly. Yeah. Thought this cold weather was gonna knock it down. Oh yeah. 
it's getting a little weight to it. Brandon's coming from the top. Sweet. All right, she's extracting. Have you walked around, Joe? So, got one there. And Brandon's. That one looks brand new, like a newborn. Right there. Right there. All right, I hate the camera angles, but I mean, can't give my spot away. Well, that one over there, this cat was laying on the ground and we got in here and as you can see, there's some tiny ones coming up right here. It's gonna be 29 degrees tonight though. and We're gonna probably get everything today. So I walked down this little, uh, slew coming into this creek because i found them on this bank in the past he only found me and uh saw that guy and then silas came and joined me that one this one and that one yeah good job buddy right on the mullet power good job buddy hey look here's one right here i was about to turn the camera off we couldn't hey they're hiding in this high grass over here Sweet. You can walk across the right arm. on. Um, we're you getting everything because it's cool, cool weather coming in. Um, privet, uh, privet and ash trees, and there's a willow, like a willow, hickory willow tree right up here. But uh, let's uh, let's Here's cut and uh, keep looking. I just realized I have my knife in my pocket, so I'll put the GoPro on my head for a second. So I'm gonna get the ones that I found. And then Silas is going to get the ones that he found. Look, there's a little baby growing next to that one, Silas. Huh. I think we'll leave him just yeah. to see how he does. Can I yeah, hold on just a second, buddy. Oh, there's about five or six over I here. One. I, yeah, he's... One, he spotted those. I, did. I walked right over the top of them, right at the base, buddy. Good job. There you go. All right, cut your other one you spotted. Get it right up against the base. Hold on, it's kind of hard because it's going on a rock. Bring it, yeah, bring it in from the bottom. There you go. I don't need that knife sharpened. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, Levi's got one showing out of the wall right here. He's about to extract. You better get a hold of, hold of him because he's going to go for a roll. You see one? I found one. Heck yeah. Oh, here you go, Levi. Brandy's got one. Take this bag up there to him. Charlie, come here. Sweet. I found one. Brandon, you got you a handful over there? I do. Look at the pollen line on this creek. It was hiding in the grass. Yeah, I know. That's what I was. That's what I was saying a while ago. This grass is hiding them, ain't it? <laughs> Heck yeah. Watch where you step in there, Britt. You liable to step on the grandfather morel. All right, we're losing sunlight. Here's our haul. Oh, so you want to be good for you? That's so gross. Oh, that smells. Yeah, they're. I guess that one's going home with us. It's right next to your nose. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.